Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Raisul Islam Rifat. So today we will talk about knit fabric tying. So let's start. First of all, we have to know what is knit fabric tying. Knit tying is a technique of tying knitted fabrics. The tying of knitted fabrics occurs in the exhaust method or in batch wise process. The knit tying process is near similar to the yarn tying process, but there is some difference in quality measurement. Let's come to the process flowchart of knit tying. First of all, grey fabric inspection, then batching, then fabric turning, then loading to the machine, then pre-treatment. In this pre-treatment, we have to do scouring and bleaching. Bleaching is not mandatory for knit tying. Then we have to do our dyeing, then dewatering, then drying, then compacting and calendaring, and then last final inspection and packing. fabric inspection. From the knitting section, we have to receive the grey fabric. Then we have to inspect all the grey fabric with some measurement. We have to check the stop mark, peak faults, wrong density or drawing, pattern or design break, salvage faults, oil stain, crack, hole, missing ends, slabs, etc. If this, uh, if these faults are not in the fabric, then we have to approve and go for the next procedure. So in our second procedure, we have to do our batching preparation. Batching is the second important section after grey fabric inspection. It is the process to make a batch for dyeing. During batch preparation, some points are considered. If some fault occurs, uh, during batch preparation then it affects the shade of the fabric. So what is the procedure of batching preparation? 
first of all we have to receive patch card from gray in charge make the priority as per time then we have to take one specific batch shirt then check the availability of the fabric then we have to take required quantity of the body fabric from warehouse then make required no rope maintaining equal length then we have to take collar or cuff as per size keep the total weight distribute collar cuff brief in each rope equally ensure equal length then we have to stitch the fabric then we have to write down the weight against roll number in the back side of the batch card then we have to write the total weight or in the batch card then we have to put signature and date then, then, then lastly we have to fill up the production report form Let's come to the process sequence for dyeing. We have to do pre-treatment, enzyme wash, dyeing, soaping, softening and fixing. Isothermal dyeing process is one of the most common and widely used dyeing processes at 60 degrees centigrade temperature. So let's discuss about isothermal dyeing process. Here I will discuss about step by step isothermal drying process. So first of all we have to do our pre-treatment process. So first of all we have to machine filling with water at normal temperature. Then we have to fabric loaded at normal temperature like 36 to 40 degree centigrade. Then we have to give the chemicals like Syntex N150 gene software it's a anti-creasing agent then Avaltex AP750 it's a wetting agent uh, plus detergent Ridazin it's a multifunctional chemical then we have to dosing at 50 degrees centigrade and run for 4 minutes then we have to give bleaching agent H2O2 50% then we have to uh, add it for 60 degrees centigrade within 3 to 4 minutes then we have to give the scouring agent Sodium hydroxide. This covering agent is added for 7 minutes at 70 degrees centigrade. Then we have to run time for uh, 110 centigrade uh, within 20 minutes. Then we have to cooling at 95 to 80 degrees centigrade and then uh, equation washing is done. Then we have to check the absorbency test. If it's done, then we have to give the peroxide killer at 80 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. Then we have to check the peroxide. Then equation washing is done at 55 degrees centigrade. Then acetic acid is added at 50 de 55 degrees centigrade for 5 minutes. Then lastly we have to check the pH. If it is 4.8 then it's good. So this is the note that make sure in full process the water is leveled. Anti-peeling process or enzyme wash. So first of all, we have to add washing agent at 55 degrees centigrade and run for 10 minutes. Then we have to check the pH. If it 4.8, then uh, then we have to uh, go for enzyme wash. Uh, we have to run with enzyme retrocell 
PLX TRA with 55 degree centigrade and run for 45 minutes. Then we have to drain out the water. Uh, then we have to add uh, soda ash plus flock BM with 80 degree centigrade and run for 10 minutes to deactivate the action of enzyme. Then the washing is done. Then the acetic acid is added at 60 degree centigrade and run for 3 to 5 minutes. So here we will talk about the isothermal dyeing complete process. First of all, we have to add the labeling agent, it's called GLAP CL by R. It's added at 60 degree centigrade and run for 10 minutes. Then we have to check the pH, if it 6 to 6.5, then we have to add the dyes by 20 minutes and add 60 degree centigrade and it's run for 10 minutes. Then we have to add the salt at 60 degree centigrade through transfer dosing for 24 minutes and run for 20 minutes. Then we have to check the specific gravity of salt. Then the soda is added at 60 degree centigrade for 24 minutes and run for 5 minutes. Then we have to check the pH. If it 10 to 11.5 after 5 minutes, we have to check the shade. If the shade is done ok, then it's checked after every 15 minutes until matching. Then if, then if the shade is ok, then we have to go for wash. Wash is done at 60 degree centigrade for 25 minutes. Then acid wash is done at 60 degree centigrade and run for 6 minutes for neutralizing. The pH is checked. Then we have to go for soaping. We have to add the soaping agent at 90 degree centigrade and run for 12 minutes. Then the washing procedure is done. Then we have to take in the hot wash at 90 degree centigrade and run for 9 minutes. Then, the, then we have to drain out the water. Then we have to add the fixing agent at uh, 40 degree centigrade 10 minutes and it is and it will run for 10 minutes. Then we have to add the softening agent. The softening agent uh, will add it for 10 minutes and uh, at 40 degree centigrade and run for 20 minutes. Then we have to unload the fabric. Now I'm going to uh, talk about uh, the dark and black shade in dyeing process. So first of all, uh, we have to take the fresh water at 40 degree centigrade. Then we have to inject the labeling agent and keep for 7 minutes. Then the te temperature is raised to 60 degree centigrade and run for 5 minutes. Then salt dosing 20 minutes and run time 20 minutes. Then color dosing 35 minutes and it will run for 15 minutes. Then the soda dosing for 30 minutes and run for 25 minutes. Then we have to caustic dosing for 25 minutes and it will run for 20 minutes. Then we need to check the sample uh, after 10 minutes. Then if the shade is ok, then we have to bath the drain. Then uh, we have to uh, need to soap, washing and finishing. Then we have to do unload. Now I'll talk about the dyeing procedure for light and medium shade. First of all, uh, we have to do fabric load and then water taking. Then rise the temperature uh, to 60 degree centigrade and pH control to 6.5. Then we, we need to inject labeling agent at run for 10 minutes. Then we have to do color dosing for 45 minutes plus add half solvent run the bath 10 minutes. Then other half inject and run 20 minutes. Then half salt and run for 10 minutes. Then extra half salt addition and run for 20 minutes. Then soda dosing for 60 minutes. After 10 minutes, we need to check the sample. If the shade is okay, then we need to bath the drain. Then soap washing and finishing, then unload. Here we will talk about the dyeing process of white shade. First of all, uh, we need to add detergent peroxide st stabilizer at 60 degree centigrade and we need to fabric load and run for just for 5 minutes. Then we need to dosing the caustic soda for 5 minutes at 60 degree centigrade. Then the temperature will raise to 70 degree centigrade. Then peroxide added and raises temperature to 80 degree centigrade. Then we need to add the optical brightening agent dosing for 10 minutes and temperature raised to 
105 degrees centigrade. Then we need to run for 50 minutes and lower temperature to 80 degrees centigrade. Then we need to bath drain and water taken to 80 degrees centigrade. Then rising for 10 minutes and bath drain. Then we need to uh, take the fresh water and acetic acid and add it at 60 degrees centigrade. Then we need to run uh, for 10 minutes the drain and bath again. Then uh, we will add the acetic acid at 55 degrees centigrade and pH control to 4.5. Then we will add enzyme and run for 50 minutes at 55 degrees centigrade. Then we will bath drain and fresh water to 60 degrees centigrade. That we will inject sequestering agent and temperature will raise at 90 degrees centigrade. Then we will run 10 minutes and add softener again run for 20 minutes. It's the simple process uh, for making a white sheet. So now we will talk about the polyester dyeing process for CBC fleece, PC, single jersey reef and PK fabric. So before dyeing we need to scouring and bleaching of the fabric. We need to add dispersing agent, buffering agent, leveling agent and check the pH for 4. Then we need to add the color 5 minutes and run time for 10 minutes. Then we need to raise the temperature at direct 90 degrees centigrade. Then it will run for 45 minutes. Then, uh, then we need to uh, bath the drain and reduction cleaning. Then we will add caustic 2.5 gram per liter and hydros 3 gram per liter. Then we need to add detergent called NOF. The percentage of the detergent will be 0.5 gram per liter. Then we, we will neutralization at 15 minutes at 60 degrees centigrade. Then we unload the fabric and start cotton part dyeing.